Good morning, children. We have completed reflection, right? In light chapter, we have completed the first half, that is reflection, and we are going to deal with the second one. What is the second one? Good. Refraction of light. So reflection. Now we are very clear about what is the reflection of light and what are the rules used. Everything. Okay. And now we will see about refraction. While introducing uh, reflection, I told you what is reflection. Read this term, we will come to know. Read the, the definition is there, no? A beam of light is incident on a polished interface, it is sent back in the same medium. What do you mean by that? When a light is incident on a polished surface, It is sent back in the same medium. You have seen this somewhere, no? Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Right? So we have studied about reflection. I told you that light always travels in a straight path. Okay? Now we will see in this one what happens. Will it always pass in the same path or in a straight path? No. Sometimes there will be some bend. Okay, what is that bend? In our daily life, also something what happens, we will be always perfect. But sometimes emotionally we will be down. No, at that time, whatever happens, no, we will be very dull and we will not be like happy like when we are always. Okay, sometimes the changes happen. We used to tell it as mood swing, right? Here what happens, light also, it is not always straight, there is some bending. When this bending happens, when it passes from one medium to the other medium, it bends. Okay, when light passes from one medium to the other medium, what do you mean by medium? Uh, from water, that is one medium. Air is one medium. See for example, you are taking a beaker and you are pouring water inside this and you are putting a pencil inside that. If you keep like this and see, how will you see? You feel like that the pencil is disjoined, disjoined. Okay, that it will be something is jo joined in between and it is like, looks like it is disjoined. Well, if you take the pencil out and see, it will be perfect. Why this happens? It is because of refraction. How many of you know swimming? When you are standing inside a swimming pool, if you see like this, your eyes are seeing your leg. How do you, how do you feel? As though it has come a little bit up. That you will be standing on the floor, but it looks little elevated. Okay? Then one more example I will give you. You are putting a glass slab on the table. And you have kept some printed matter below that. How it will look? As though it is little bit elevated. Okay. So these are all the examples for refraction. So we got a clear idea that light always will it travel in Light will not travel always in the straight path. Sometimes it bends. Okay, that is called as refraction. So, shall we study in the form of a definition? The bending of light rays, see, bending of light rays when they pass obliquely. Obliquely means what? Not uh, neither parallel nor perpendicular. Slanting, that is called as oblique. Okay? So, if when they pass obliquely from one medium to the other, that is called as refraction of light. Okay? Refraction takes place. What happens? The bending of light rays happens when, when they pass obliquely from one medium to the other medium. We are going to see how it is bending. Okay? So, this definition is very important. In physics, all the definitions, blue, uh, rules, then laws, they all are very important. You can't write it on your own. Better you understand the concept and then you can write. Okay? 
So bending of light, this word is very very important. Bending of light rays when they pass obliquely from one medium to the other is called refraction of light. So this is the first point. Why this refraction is happening? We should know. It is due to the change in velocity of light in different medium. In different medium, the speed will be different. Okay. See for example at home you will be running, you will be jumping, you will be sitting in whichever place you like. But after coming to school it is restricted. No, in the classroom you should sit. If bell rings immediately you are asked to come and sit inside the classroom and that 40 minutes or 45 minutes when the teacher teaches you should constantly focus on what man is doing. You can't do whatever you like. Okay. Same way here. It is due to the velocity of light in different medium. In each medium it differs the velocity. So here we are going to study two terms. Optically denser medium and optically rarer medium. Okay. We are here we are going to study optically denser medium. What do you mean by optically denser Denser medium and optically rarer medium. What happens, you know, in rare medium, the speed will be more. Keep this as your house, okay? When you are at home, you will be doing or you can listen to music, you can speak to your mother, you can run out and see what is happening outside. So, your speed will be more. But, when you are at school, your speed will be less. So here we keep this as an example. For some children at home, they, they don't like to be at home. When they come to school, they will be very happy. They will go to play, they will go here, they will go to teacher, speak to them. No. So this as an example, I am taking that when you are at home, you keep it as rarer medium. When you come to school, you keep it as denser medium. Okay. So rarer medium, the speed of light will be more. And in denser medium, Comparatively less. Okay. So it will be lesser than that of rarer medium. So these two things are very clear right. Rarer medium, denser medium. I also to ask you what is optical density. Right. You can write it. Optical density is defined as the ratio of. It is defined as the ratio of the intensity of light falling upon a material. The intensity of light falling upon a material and the intensity transmitter that is called as optical density. So the light which is falling on it and how it is transmitted no? that is called as optical density. So this word is very important. You should write optically denser medium, optically rarer medium. Okay, optical word is very important. So rarer medium means you know that the speed of light is more. Here the speed of light is less in denser medium. That is very clear. Second point. So what is the cause? It is due to the change in. So first point is the diffusion. The bending of the light rays when they pass obliquely from one medium to the another is called as refraction of light. Second point is what is the cause? It is because of the change in velocity. What will be change in velocity? It may be optically denser medium or optically rarer medium. Optically rarer medium means the speed of light will be more. And in optically denser medium the speed of light will be less. So these two points we have already studied. Definition and causes. Then when light passes like this, no, there are some rules. The rules, they should follow those rules. Three rules are there. When you are coming inside the school also you will have rules, no, you will follow the yellow light. Correct, no? When you are going to wash room, you should make a line and move. So, the same way here, light also, three rules are there. First rule is, when light moves from optically rare medium to denser medium, you are coming from your home to school, okay? So, optically rare medium to denser medium when you are coming, it will bend towards normal. You will be perfect and you will be coming. You can't do like this and come. Okay, you will be very serious and you will 
bent towards the normal. You know that I am going to the school. I should be like this. Many small kids will be there in the school. They will be watching me. So it will be very conscious. So it bends towards normal. Okay. At the same time, evening when you are going home after the classes, you will go to your home. When you are going home, will you go and sit like this in the sofa? No. You will keep your water bottle here somewhere. You will keep your tiffin box. You will give it to your mother. You will come back. You will keep your bag somewhere. Sit on the sofa. Remove your shoes. Some they will be very careful. Some they will leave it here. Socks will be there. Shoes will be there. No. So from denser medium to rarer medium, you will move away from the normal. When you are coming to school, you will be bending towards normal. Okay. That is what we are going to see. See now. So light rays, when it passes from rare medium to denser medium, it bends towards normal. See, bends towards normal. That is, angle of incidence will be more and angle of reflection will be less for so, bending. See, for example, this I have taken as optically rare medium and this I have taken it as optically denser medium. When light is moving, I told you that it is oblique. It is not straight, okay, oblique. Like this, it is going and hitting the medium, the next medium. It is passing through this medium and this hitting the other medium. So, it is making like that. No, this is the, we know that this is angle of incidence. Actually, this line, when it is coming like this, it should move in a straight line like this. But it is not happening. We have studied that always it is in a straight line. So, it should be straight like this. But what happens here? It is moving from a rarer medium to a denser medium, so it will bend towards normal. We know the point where it is joining, no, this is called as normal. So I have put a line like this, normal. This is N N dash, normal will be. So this is the actual line, it should come to this way, but what happens here? It will bend towards the normal, it is moving towards normal. So this is called as angle of refraction. Don't confuse between reflection and refraction. Okay. So this is angle of incidence and this is angle of refraction. So now tell me which one is more at home? Freedom is more. When coming to school, you are restricted. So it will bend towards the normal. Angle of incidence is more and angle of refraction is less. That is the first case. What is the first case? When light moves from Optically rarer medium to a denser medium, it will bend towards the normal. Clear idea. The second one, what happens when it moves from a denser medium to a rarer medium? Optically denser medium to optically rarer medium, it bends away from the normal. See what happens here? Actually, this is denser medium, this is rarer medium. Now light should pass like this and it should come straight like this. But here what is happening? It is not moving towards the normal. It is moving away from the normal. See here? Light is coming like this. It is moving away from the normal. So this is angle of incidence and this is angle of refraction. Now tell me which one is more? Angle of incidence is more or angle of refraction is more? Good. Angle of refraction is more. So I have put here. Angle of refraction is more and angle of incidence is more. Yes. When you are studying greater than, smaller than, in your lower classes, teachers will teach you like that, no? Beak. If the beak is open, then it is more. If the beak is closed, it is less. Same way, we have put like this, okay? So normally, this, these two things we have seen, when it is moving optically from a denser medium, a rarer medium to denser medium, it bends towards the normal. When it is moving from a denser medium to a rarer medium, it will move away from the normal. Third one is, normally when it is moving, it is not oblique. It is just coming like this. Okay, perpendicular it is coming. What happens? Will there be any change? You are good. There will not be any change. What happens? They will come straight like this. So it is very clear from this, in rarer medium, the speed of light will be more. So because of that it is coming out and in denser medium the speed of light will be less so it is moving towards the normal. Don't write that example. I am at home so I am like this. I will go school. No, don't write all those things. Just for you to keep it in your mind. Okay. 
So the speed of light will be more when it is in rarer medium. The speed of the light will be less when it is in speed of what? Speed of light. We are studying about light. Okay. So this is the third point. Rules. It does not bend or deviate. Okay. So the first one is definition. Second one is why it is cast. Causes. Third one is the rules. Now we are going to study laws. Reflection we have studied two laws. No laws. No same like that. Here also we are having two laws. See. The first law tells that the incident ray, the refracted ray, and the normal. To the interface, this word is very important. What do you mean by interface? Between two faces, one line is there. No? This is called as interface. So the incident ray, the refracted ray, and the normal, the interface of two transparent media. This is one transparent media, and this one is transparent media. So media means plural. Medium is one. Okay. So the incident ray, the refracted ray, and normal, the interface of transparent media at the point of incidence. Or all light on the same plane. This is very very important law. Okay. The second one you see the ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is a constant. This word is very important. The ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is a constant. For the light of a given color, because for different colors it changes. If it is the same color, for a given color, and then the given pair of media, it is known as Snell's law. See here, Snell's law. Who is Snell? He gave the law. Okay, he is an um, astronomer, as a mathematician also. He is a mathematician, Dutch mathematician. This law is called as Snell's law because of why? Uh, we know it. So he is a Dutch mathematician in 1621 he gave this law. Sin A by sin R is equal to constant. This is very important. After writing the second law you should also write. This is called as Snell's law. Snell's law you should write. Sometimes they may ask like this. What is Snell's law? They will not ask what are the laws of refraction. What is Snell's law? We need to write this law. Sin A by sin R is equal to constant. This constant is called as refractive index. We are going to study in the next class what is refractive index. This is called as refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium. So we will repeat the last ones. The incident ray, the refracted ray are normal. The interface of the two transparent media at the point of incidence all lying on the same plane. That is the first one. Second one. The ratio of sine of angle of incidence to sine of angle of refraction is a constant. For the given light of a, this line is important, okay. For the light of a given color and the given pair of media, some they will leave this line when writing the definition. You should write this. For the light of a given color and the given pair of the media, this law is also known as Snell's law. And sin A by sin R is equal to constant. This constant is called as refractive index. I think it's clear. So first was definition. The second one is cast. Third one is rule. And the fourth one is loss. And the fifth one, this concept is called as refractive index. We will study what is refractive index in the next class. Okay, bye.